Hey guys, it's me Edgar, here to do my review on The Incredible Hulk Volume 1, Issue 4. Now this is a book that has two storylines. I'm not going to talk about the other one because I find that very boring. And I thought this storyline was cool. So pretty much the comic book opens up where we see uh, Rick and uh, Banner pretty much in hiding because the military are trying to find Hulk and we see a lot of the events that happened the other previous issues and then later down the line we have Rick pretty much wondering where does he, where does he go where does he do with the Hulk because Hulk is basically um under hiding and we have it where Hulk is causing commotion he causing all these let's just say events happening and pretty much realizing all of this is happening he is wondering where does he go uh, what does he do with the Hulk and he's trying to do experimentation to where uh, this device will turn him back to being normal and then eventually we have it where Rick and Banner find a way to have where Banner somewhat becomes the Hulk. And he, Banner's like, Rick, Rick, I, it's me, Banner. I, I have become the Hulk. And they utilize it multiple times. Then they have him turn back to being normal and all that stuff. Eventually it backfires and... I think issue four talked about this as well. So, uh, yeah. Um, overall, my thoughts out of this whole entire issue, it was all right. It was all right. The other storyline, that was all right too. So, in a scale of one to ten, for this storyline and the other storyline, eight out of ten, at least for me. Um, I know I've been lacking on the Hulk stuff, and I've been reading a lot of Hulk comics lately, and I've been in the mood for Hulk for a bit, so I thought, why not do Hulk comics, and plus I've been meaning to end his first run and start his first ongoing series, and then we go forward. I'll eventually do She-Hulk again and other stuff because her show was coming, and uh, there's other stuff that I really want to do. I go talk about uh, House of M, the Vision, and uh, Scarlet Witch comics, and the rest is history from there. But uh, yeah, overall, 8 out of 10. Definitely going to be doing Hulk comics later this year and next year as well. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Stay tuned for more Hulk content and uh tell me your favorite storyline my favorite storyline from hulk is the stories where banner was having the gray hulk and green hulk uh coming out like you have one issue or two maybe three or hell an entire storyline having gray hulk or green hulk that's something that was really refreshing and really interesting and I do miss that in today's Hulk comics. But, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. And, uh, adios.